Regardless of what happens today, I just hope that we don't see any more 35 below temperatures and 55 and 60 below wind chills. I know. I was asking our, where were you originally from? Atlanta? <laughs> Decatur, Georgia. Yeah, right outside of Atlanta. Right. So that you said this is the coldest forecast you had ever ever forecasted. And of course, the coldest air I ever felt. I don't want to feel it again. Oh, you do? Yeah. Well, you know I, what? That I think we can go several years without feeling that kind of cold again. And now you see why we're so grateful when we see these types of temperatures. Absolutely. It's going to be downright balmy for today. 38, that's the high we're expecting. Still going to be cloudy, though, with those temperatures continuing to climb as we head towards Sunday. We'll be up to 44. We'll be dealing with some fog, some light rain, and even some drizzle by this afternoon. And the possibility of some freezing drizzle, we'll have to watch out for that. But I do think most of us will see just that liquid form. So drizzle and light rain headed our way. We've got a warm front that's going to be pushing across the area later on today. This will help to get some of those 40s and 30s down to our south and west into our area like in Sioux Falls where it's 36, 37 in Des Moines. But of course, we're still into that pocket of cold air that just won't let us go, but it will be later on this afternoon. Here's a look at your future forecast. We're quiet and dry this morning, but the clouds get in here as early as 2.30. We're cloudy, starting to see some of that drizzle falling out to our west and continuing to spread farther towards the east later on this afternoon. That's when we'll have that brief period of possibly seeing a little bit of freezing drizzle, but otherwise it'll be drizzle out there and some light rain as we head into the overnight hours. Light rain spreading from Beaver Dam into Fond du Lac farther south into Burlington, Racine and Kenosha. Southerly winds will push us into the mid to upper 30s for tonight and by tomorrow we're looking at some 40s headed our way. After Sunday, we'll be tracking our next area of low pressure. This is going to bring us some significant rainfall. It looks like it's going to be all rain for us, but farther to the north, that's when they'll see some a bit of a wintry mix and also some snowfall, but it's going to be all rain from here. So from Sunday on into, or I should say Saturday night on to early Sunday morning, we're just looking at a couple of hundredths of an inch of rainfall, but after that more significant rain, about a half of an inch to upwards of an inch will be possible as we get into to Monday evening and Monday night. We're at 23 in Waukesha. It's 19 in Milwaukee, 24 in Port Washington. Today we'll climb to 38. So we're looking at almost a 60 to in some cases a 70 degree uh, temperature swing being much warmer, but foggy conditions as we head towards tonight. A low of 36, so not much cooler and still some drizzle will be possible at times. Light rain headed your way for Sunday with a high of 44, 46 on Monday. We're back down to 30 on Tuesday. Then chances for snow return Wednesday evening into Thursday. You know how happy these dog walkers are going to be? Oh my goodness, it's been so brutal for our little ones, especially our furry little friends. Their paws getting so wet and cold. Thank you so much.